Okay, this is Sam Kennedy. We're back with day two of the Tech Fair on the MCV campus, and I'm with... Uh, Tim Aro from the General Clinical Research Center. Great, Tim. Now, you may be from the General Clinical Research Center, but you're also heading up a, a big initiative here uh, around a survey, and, and I guess a research tool called REDCap. So I wanted to talk to you a little bit and let you give us a kind of an overview of what that system is going to do for the for the VCU, for the university, and as well as well for the medical center. Uh, yeah, we're really excited uh, about this project. Uh, it's called REDCap uh, for Research Electronic Data Capture, and it's really two separate tools. It's a database tool and a survey tool, both online, geared exclusively for supporting research projects. Right. And it's a it's a really neat concept. It's uh, we're part of a consortium actually. VCU has joined the REDCap consortium, which is over 100 institutions around the country and world who are using the system. And the collaborative effort among all the consortium members uh, helps drive the development of these applications. And we're just thrilled that we're now a part of the consortium and can bring this tool to VCU. What are some uh, examples for the use of the tool? Uh, well, like I said, it's, it's for clinical research trials, and it can be either for uh, uh, clinical research, uh, even basic research data capture, if there are specific uh, instrument in uh, the social sciences and psychology uh, and the distribution of these surveys needs to go out to a potential respondents, uh, this survey tool can be uh, used for that. Uh, it can also be used for operational support, so it's not necessarily just research data capture per se, but if there's any operational support around the research enterprise, uh, this could lend itself really well to doing that as well. So is the tool um, deployed now or is it on a roadmap for deployment later? That's a good question. We've been working very diligently to make sure the system, first of all, is, is, is very secure mm -hmm. and reliable. Uh, we're in the process now of standing up two dedicated servers that we were able to um, acquire through some HETEF funds with some assistance from the technology services folks. And these servers are being stood up and we're hoping to go live uh, for prime time production uh, the fall of this year. Uh, a little sooner if things go really well, but the extra time that it takes to make sure that it is locked down and very secure is, is paramount, uh, particularly when we have sensitive research data. Now, at, say we get into the fall and, and everything's rolled out. If somebody wants to use the red cap or get on that, that system to be able to use it, how would they go about requesting um, access? Uh, that's a great question. Um, on the technology services website uh, here at VCU, uh, there is a, a software tab. So on the website, there will be an account request form. And on this account request form, one would simply enter their uh, their uh, contact information, their name, uh, the type of tool that they need to use, and as long as they are uh, an EID holder, are a VCU staff, faculty, uh, sponsored student, or a sponsored affiliate, right. they would be able to gain access then to, to the tools. So it's through Technology Services website, um, and also make uh, they need to make sure that they are in fact uh, one of those uh, individuals with a, a VCU EID. A couple things I, I would like to mention that, uh, like I say, this tool, while it's geared you know for, for research data collection, uh, with a little bit of creativity, there's a lot of flexibility in the tool for operational support. And if people have questions, uh, they can certainly contact me at the General Clinical Research Center. Uh, or we also have uh, departmental level liaisons that we are now designating to help with some user support uh, as we come up, even before we move into production. Great. Well, we appreciate your time. And this is Sam Kennedy at the Technology Fair on the MCV campus, day two. Have a good day.